this next story I love so much because there's two obscure shows that I love. One of them is not even on the air anymore, but I still love it. It's Next Food Network Star. Happens once a year. One of the hard, the second hardest reality competition next to Drag Race because you have to do a lot of things. You have to talk to the camera. You have to look cook. You have to be able to be good. You have to be personality. You have to have a, a point of view, a POV. And same thing with HGTV Star. You have to be able to cook to break stuff, I mean to break stuff. You have to be able to, <laughs> to build stuff, you have to design, you have to have a good eye, you have to talk to the camera. These were very good shows. Now, uh, a couple of years back, the last big winner from HGTV was this guy named David Bromstead, okay? He was a gay guy and he, I'm pretty sure, won HGTV TV star because he was shirtless the entire show, okay? They'd be like, are you ready for your challenge designers? And he'd be like, I'm ready, Sh shirt off, lean body, <laughs> painting, faggoty as ever, doing his thing, living his gay life with his lean body. He won, he got a show called Color Splash. He never <laughs> took his shirt off again. And you know that annoys me. <laughs> so this story is even more juicy because David Bromstedt is mixed up in some dangerous shit according to legal papers shown by his ex-lover. Let's look at that graphic. Oh, HDTV, sorry, nasty battle with his ex. Color splash, more like jizz splash, bitch. <laughs> okay, so now you can see David is there. Show that picture one more time. David is there with his, uh, that is his, that man in the picture is his ex lover, okay. Were they married? I'm not sure. No, they were just boyfriends. So that is his, he loves a daddy, so we know that, that's interesting. They met in a romantic way on Valentine's Day at a singles mixer, but I think that's a lie. They met at the back room of a sex club in Orlando, Florida, honey, oh. because now they are breaking up and the boyfriend is alleging that David has been spending all their money on illicit drugs, Ooh. prostitutes, and sex parties. Yeah! yeah. So uh, this is just the HDTV scandal, HDTV star scandal, the best kind of scandal there is. Now, of course, <laughs> David is saying this is all lies. I would never do such a thing. I'm a color splash, not a jizz splash. But I, I, can, t I can tell, David, Girl, you've been doing, I can just imagine you and your lean body doing all sorts of inappropriate things in what, Lady Red? A sex swing. What do you think about David Bromstead's <laughs> jizz splash problems? <laughs> Lady Red's been obsessed with sex swings today. She's been sexually harassing all the crew. <laughs> telling them that she's going to put them in her sex swing. So I wanted you to relate to this because I'm pretty sure David Bromstead has a sex swing at his house. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with a sex swing. As mm -hmm. long as it's sturdy, honey, it's okay to be a little dirty. Um, but, <laughs> I mean, what the fuck, right? I can't turn it off. Um, <laughs> I think it's, you know, I just think some people shouldn't put all of their stuff out there, and I think those two just don't give a fuck, so good for them that they're being exposed for being the perverts that they are. Well, the boyfriend is the one that doesn't give a fuck. He is saying that David mm -hmm. spent all their money and broke their trust by doing coke with strippers. I mean, and but you wouldn't know that parts. unless you were sitting right along, you know what I'm saying? I'm um, mm -hmm. snorting and shit. So what the fuck? Like, you that's all your shit out there. Like, I could never tell you what somebody else is doing unless I'm doing it with them. Mm-hmm. Bible girl, when you were partying with David Bromstead, what was it like? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the fattest lines I've ever seen. <laughs> um, well. I don't know. I feel I feel kind of like weird about this. I'm with Lady Red. It's one thing to like be kind of bitter about your partner acting some type of way, but it's a complete other when it comes down to like putting your life out onto like this rather oddly public platform, especially in some kind of format where it's this gossip mag. I don't know. It's it's, it's sellouty. It reads as like, well, if I mean, based on inference here alone, it's like, well, if you're saying he's taken all of your money and has bought all of these things and done all this shit and then you're selling this story to the paper, you're doing this for the money. And you're mm -hmm. just, like, it, I, don't, I don't know, it just seems an, like an odd way to compromise like your personal life just for the sake of financial benefit. When, well, like, that's for sure. He is definitely not going, there's not gonna be a settlement because old boyfriend is a ex, 
FBI officer yeah. slash police officer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he is going to stick it in, mm -hmm. and he's actually creating a website called the real David Bromstead.com oh to give all the dirty details. Yeah. Julie, what do you do when all your ex girlfriends start making <laughs> realjuliegoldman.com websites? Well, when the sex tape came out, I just had to go and sell it and make the money off of it. I mean, that's what you have to do. You Taylor gotta go would make. Be proud. Yeah, that's right. Just like Kardashians, and all, you know, you gotta. When your shit gets out, you need. He better take over and make Jizz House his next show or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like He's like the great way to work with color, Julie. Yeah. Is if you dab a little Jizz into your paint and then splatter, splatter, splatter. splatter. I call it a bukkake cut. <laughs> Beautiful. And then like, boop, Madison, can you come in here? Twink hooker comes in. Mm -hmm. oh, now let's do the kitchen. And then, right. like, just, you know. I need a little motivation for this next color splash. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready, man. Right? So yeah. Call pipe. my hooker. And then, just like, he's on the dick. And then, <clears throat> anyway, next time, join us for, and uh -oh. then it's, you know what I mean? Uh huh. Well, I think we've pretty much call HGTV. We solved this. Brandy, you're an executive at HDTV. <laughs> you think this is going to be a problem for David Bromstead? He hasn't been on the network in a while, though. I mean, I feel like, first of all, the whole thing comes out because why? They're fighting over a fucking condo. Where's the condo? A penthouse in Trump Tower in Manhattan? I seriously doubt it. Was no, it I'm pretty sure it's like in Fort Lauderdale <laughs> yeah. or some shit. You're fighting over a fucking two-bedroom condo. Like, I would just be like, here, have it. I don't Petty. necessarily need my, you know, my hooker, the hookers of the year being bandied about on fucking in touch but like also i feel at the same time it's kind of like in 2017 shouldn't we all just be talking about our coke and hookers <laughs> isn't it kind of hot mm -hmm. if you don't have kids and you're in a relationship i mean i might i would if i feel like i might just have to aggressively own that shit hgtv has already forsaken him yeah they've already taken color splash and thrown it in the garbage yep and he should just be like yeah i love coke and hookers sue me and then his shit would be blown up. His, mm -hmm. his grinder would be blowing up. Mm -hmm. I mean, he does have a, a nice tight body. <laughs> and I love Coke and hookers myself, so. Hooray! Coke and hookers!